Today I'm going to show you how you grow your own photoplankton. I've been doing this for about close to a year now. <clears throat> a lot of the sites will tell you, you know, lights you can use. I found using at least around 30 watts of just fluorescent lights, T5 lights, white, cool. They seem to work a lot better with that amount of light to get a better grow. Um, I started my culture off with the DT's live photoplankton. A lot of places says you can't actually buy it from the store and grow it yourself to get it started. But that's not true, you can. Um, the other culture I've got growing is the uh, V Pure Nano 1 photoplankton. So I got two types of photoplankton that I'm growing. I'm going to show you my setup, how it's set up and how I actually do it. I'm going to be splitting one putting it into a new container. Uh, for right now, I'll take you over and let you see my setup, which I have it underneath a counter here. <clears throat> I've got a light on the back side, which is 15 watts, and my T5, which is 15 watts, and on the other side, I feel that way it gets light on both sides, which the photoplankton needs to grow. I've got a, a dual airline, or like a 75 gallon, going into each for the air bubbles through the top. And I put one of them foils to give it more uh, reflection around it, which is doing pretty good. We're going to be splitting the DT. I will bring this over here to show you how you do that while I'm talking still. Now, your salt level, when you make it up, you want your salt level to actually be at 1.019 when you uh, make your solution up, which you make it up into your normal gallon to keep the right levels. So I have this where I can have it ready to make when I split my cultures. So right now this is at 19 um, for my salt level. Ready to go. Let's see if you can get a good look on the coloring of it, of the DT. You got the nice, good, dark green color. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but nice, good color of the green. Now, when you go to make your culture, you want to, like I said, make purified water. You can use tap water. That's what I started with. I just recently started going to uh, purify water now. But you want your salt level to be 19, match always what's in here. I've been actually topping this off before I split it. That way, everybody knows oxygen and water, your water evaporates, salt don't evaporate. So, as you're adding that water, salt water back into it, you're going to be rising your salt level. And I'm thinking that might be why a lot of people say they have crashes after six months to a year, you know, your salt level's going up, that could crash. And I tend, every once in a while, once I get it so dark and concentrated, I'll start almost over again to feel like I get rid of anything that might die off in there, it won't start polluting the water. So anyways, 19 is what you want, well, 1.019 for your salinity or gravity for your salt water mix. Then you're going to be using micro-grow all-purpose plant food fertilizer that you have to add into it. I'm using gallon jugs, which is just a little bit less than a gallon. They tell you that you should put at least five milliliters of the miracle-grow plant food into your water mix. So since I, that's for a two liter bottle, since I went to a gallon, I put in uh, about seven milliliters each time I make a mix. 
So I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm switching it over into a new container. I like this container better with how my other one's grown and it's not as thick and more clear. So I'm going to go ahead and just split it into a different container, but the same purpose. Once this is ready, you split them. When you start your cultures, you'll make one up, you get it going, you split half out of your bottle, and then you replace it with your normal water to refill it back up. Actually, what I'm doing now is I'm using some of this for my thing, so I refill this bottle and I keep it put in the fridge when I do this. So, best thing to do, I shake it up before I go to make sure everything's good and mixed. The photo wipe and that's not settling. I'll pour half out. Close to half anyways. So now this is what I will actually be feeding my tank with which I feel is a lot better than buying in the store because a bottle of this, which is a 30 ounce bottle, costs around 30 bucks. You go through it once a month, two months. This saves a lot of money. So that will be going in my fridge for my tank. Now, the rest that I have, I will fill up into the new container. Which that's close to being half, so the rest I'll just discard of. Now, I'm going to keep that in there. Now, I'll take my water that I had made up with the soft level with the right levels. I will fill it all the way up to my next line, which I'll put a mark on there for all now and it's evaporates down the road. And you just pour your water straight into there. Dilute it. Put it in 
like I said, in a week it'll be as dark as it was before. In the next two weeks it'll be darker than before. It just keeps getting more concentrated. But that shows that you can grow DTs and you can grow the other type. And save you some money on it. So I hope this helped out a little bit on anybody that might want to start growing their own. Uh, saves you money. It's an easy process. You just put it underneath there, let it go until it's time to split. So I hope that helps some people out and might want to start growing their own. And you guys have a good one.